Hey Defog, today what I'm looking at is the relationship between high ISO and the sharpness of your lens. So it's a very widely held belief that your camera is only as good as the glass that you put on it. Now, as true as that is, I'm gonna take it and turn it on its head and ask you if you're aware of the fact that your lens is only as good as the camera body that you put it onto. Interesting point, let's explore it. So everybody talks about noise, and noise is a very subjective issue. What is pretty attractive and desirable for some people, and I'm one of them, I, I love good noise in a photograph, in a black and white photograph, might not be as attractive to the next person. Some people shooting events, uh, what they consider to be a clean and usable image, deliverable to the client, might not be the same as what the next person deems to be a clean and usable image. So that is all high ISO and noise talk. This video is not about that. This video is about high ISO and sharpness of your image and at what point your lens isn't capable of delivering its inherent quality to the final image anymore. At what point does your sensor take over from the glass that you're putting on the front of your camera? Let's go and pixel peep at some results from the legendary 85 millimeter f1.2. One of the sharpest lenses out there. It doesn't come much sharper than this lens. And to deliver cleaner images at high ISO levels, obviously there are algorithms in play that effectively take the noise created on the sensor from amplifying the light signal, they take that and effectively what they're doing is they're softening it slightly so that the noise is not as aggressive. So on most cameras you'll be able to adjust the noise processing for your high ISO images and if you've never looked at that before go and take a look at it, see if you can tweak it according to how you prefer the results from your higher ISO shots, um, it's really worth a look. But the point of this exercise is that take your sharpest lens and as you'll see with the results on screen at the moment, at 320 ISO, the amount of detail that this lens delivers is absolutely staggering at poor level. You do not get much better than this. So let's take a look at the same lens and uh, we'll have a look at 640 ISO. So that, that's just amplifying the noise signal by another stop. What you can see is that the image by all accounts is absolutely usable and it is still a wonderful image that I would be happy to deliver to any client. But once we go and examine it on poor level, you'll see that we've started to lose detail. Now that is specific to this camera body over here. Yours might not perform exactly the same when jumping from 320 to 640. Remember this is on a very, very high megapixel camera, so the noise levels are already inherently amplified on this camera. Past 640, the next one we moved on to is shot at 2000 ISO and there's quite a remarkable jump here. And once again you see there is another level of sharpness that we've lost. Now when I brought this to the attention of one of my photographer friends, he looked at it and said, ah, oh, it's beautiful. He, he likes that it's soft because in the old days we used to take a stocking and put it in front of the enlarger just to soften the effect on a portrait. And he said, you know, it, it kind of feels like a picture that was taken a few years ago with older equipment. And that's all good and well. It's a look and it's fine. The bottom line is the image is still sharp, but you have lost that extreme resolution and extreme detail that you're getting off of 320 ISO. Right, so let's take a last look in this test and it's going to be at 3200 ISO. Not a big jump for me from the results on 2000 ISO. Once again, the image is pristine. It's pin sharp. 
uh, you can see that, but the detail, yes, it, it, it just doesn't come close to the resolution that is retained at a lower ISO level. I still consider this to be deliverable to the client. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it, but once we zoom into the same area, you'll notice that by this time, in comparison to the original image where we started this exercise off at 320 ISO, we have lost a lot of sharpness and a lot of detail. Well, I think it's actually detail more than sharpness because the image is still sharp. It's as sharp as it gets, but the detail is now lost. So it's an interesting exercise. Once again, at the beginning of the tutorial, I said to you, we are going to not debunk, but we're going to take the idea of your camera is only as good as the glass you put on front of it and we're going to turn that on its head and say that your glass is only as good as the camera sensor that you're using. So I hope this was worth something because at the end of the day the equipment that we buy is so incredibly expensive so this is designed to just help you understand your equipment a little bit better and to help you understand the choices that you're making when you're buying this expensive equipment. Until next time, Defog, I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you did, please go and subscribe. Get your dog, your grandmother, and your mother-in-law to all subscribe to the channel so that we can keep bringing you the really good stuff from the real working pros here at Defog. Thanks a lot. See you again next time.